हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज सुभाषिष मिश्रा एंड टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑन को रिलेशन विद प्रैक्टिकल बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू हैवन वॉस्ड दी को वेरियंस एंड को रिलेशन वीडियो विच हैज बिन पब्लिश बिफोर आई एल सजेस्ट दैट गो अड एंड वॉच दोज वीडियोज बिकॉज दिस वीडियो विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे द टॉपिक विच वी आर विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज कम्प्लीटली रेलिवेंट टू दी covariance and correlation so if you don't understand the what is the covariance and what is the correlation then you won't be able to understand the correlation that we are going to discuss with the practical example all right putting that aside let's get started so what exactly is a correlation correlation is the relationship between two variables so whenever we have two variables so let's say x and y which are available in the data set then whenever we try to find out the relationship between those two variables then that is called as correlation means if x is increasing then whether y is increasing or decreasing in that way we can be able to understand what is exactly the correlation between x and y so the correlation can be of positive can be of negative so what the value that we are getting from the correlation that is uh, the relationship between x and y we call it as a correlation coefficient that may lie between minus 1 to 1 all right now let's understand different scenarios of correlation so here in the first scenario we have x and y available and the intersection points which are available those are being available on a straight line so here as the uh, all the values are available on the intersection then the correlation between x and y is plus 1 because as the value of x increases the value of y also increases now let's understand about the second scenario here the x and y intersection is following up a straight line in a inverse direction means with increase in x the y decreases so this correlation coefficient forms a minus 1 correlation now let's understand the scenario 3 here in x and y intersection the x and y intersection is following up a straight line for most of the points not for the all points that's the reason why we can be able to say that okay x and y are having a positive correlation so that means when x is increasing y is also increasing but here as all the points are not following up falling on the straight line so we can be able to say that the correlation is not plus 1 it will be more than 0 and less than 1 it will be somewhere in between that now let's understand the next example of the correlation so here as we can be able to see that with increase in x the y decreases so it actually forms a inverse correlation or a negative correlation but whenever we are following up a straight line then many points are following of the falling on the straight line but not all the points so we can be able to say that the correlation is negative definitely but the correlation coefficient lies between minus 1 to 0 and in the last scenario here as we can be able to see that all the points all the intersection points of x and y are lying in a scattered manner in that way we can't be able to form any kind of simulation between x and y so here the correlation coefficient is 0 now let's understand the correlation and correlation coefficient with a practical example. so let's import pandas and numpy we will also be importing cborn and matplotlib the reason behind importing cborn and matplotlib is whenever we establish a correlation ship between x and y we should also be able to see that correlation ship in a visual effect so in that way whenever we will be plotting a graph and in that sense we can be able to see the correlation ship between x and y now let's go ahead and uh, create a data set we will be using the inbuilt library which is available in cborn so previous in our previous examples we have used uh, titanic as our data set here also we'll be using the titanic data set for the simplicity purpose 
so let's import uh, let's load the titanic data set all right now once the data set is loaded let's uh, see the head of the data set now this is the head of the data set now here survived is the y value or the output value and rest all are the independent variable or the x variables so let's divide the data into x and y first now the data is being separated between x and y we can be able to see the x value over here okay now here we can be able to find out the correlation between each variable available inside the x why are we doing the correlation over here the correlation helps us to find out if we have any multicollinearity available now multi what is multicollinearity if we have two uh, features available and in that few two features if we well, let's say we have a correlation uh, is of 0.9 that means the the x1 the values in x1 is 90% correlated with the x2 variable in that way if we are taking both the variables then that way we should be removing one variable and we will be we will be considering only one uh, considering among those two variables we should be considering only one variable for our model building purpose we'll be discussing the multi coordinate in a whole greater term in the uh, upcoming videos but for now just understand correlation helps us to find out the multi coordinate and to deal with the multi coordinate problem as well now before we start uh, doing the correlation set we have to treat the null values whichever the nan values available we have to drop those null values let's take the what are the null values available okay so this is the number of null values that is being available now let's take the size of the x so the shape is actually 891 number of rows and 14 columns as you can be able to see that is and deck are having null values rest all are having very small number of null values okay so what we will be doing for the simplicity sake we will not be considering is and deck uh, variable into our case and we will only be considering rest all values rest all variables into our calculation so we will be basically dropping the age and the deck variable now if we will check the null values available in other variables then we can be able to see there's only two values which are null values in embarked and in embarked town we have only two null values so we can be able to drop those null values over here now the null values are removed now let's check once again okay as we can be able to see we don't have any null values now let's find out the correlation between all the variables of x so in pandas we have a inbuilt method which is called as correlation so we can be able to use that one so whatever the data frame we have that is the x and then we can be able to use the method correlation 
x dot c o r r and once we do that it will print us the correlation between each and every variable so this is the correlation matrix that is being formed it is the, the correlation between class and class it is the same variable so the correlation is always one correlation between class and class and fair is negative correlation between class and adult male is uh, 0 0.09 correlation between class and alone is 0.13 and, and so on and so forth now this is the correlation which is being built out for our simplicity purpose we can round it up to uh, two decimal point Okay, now it looks more decent. Now this is the matrix formed between the x variables. Now if we want to plot the data in a xy plane, then we can be able to do that using the heat map. So in c bond we have a feature called as heat map, where we can be able to see the correlation. Let's copy this one out. Now let's see the plot. Okay, so we have a plot which is available, but from this plot, we are not being able to see anything else. We are not being able to understand anything else. And the plot is also very small one. Let's make this plot a little bit bigger. And also let's provide all the correlation available that is 1.8.6 inside all these graphs, all these individual cubes. In that way, we can be able to understand it in a more better way. Let's do that. Let's take a fixed size of 12,8 and uh, then let's consider the same heat map and inside that heat map let's provide the n0 equal to true. What n0 equal to true will do that whatever the annotation which is available between individual features that like the class and uh, the mm, fair we can be able to be able to plot it inside the specific cube. Let's also provide a title to it. Correlation plot and let's execute. Okay, now you can be able to see we have a title uh, said uh, correlation plot and also we can be able to see the correlation between individual features. So whatever the one we are seeing in the diagonal that is the correlation between the same feature. So class and class definitely the values are same so we will be having one and uh, fair and fair the values, uh, uh, values are same so we will be having one. So in that way we have all the values as one in the diagonal. Rest all we can be able to see the correlation which are negative. It is being denoted as a uh, inside a black box and uh, the, mm, uh, uh, the correlation which are being negative but uh, in a, a little bit negative that is being denoted in a purple box in this. So in this way this uh, correlation uh, matrix will help us out in terms of selecting our features which are uh, following up the multicollinearity which are the which are not following a multicollinearity which are very distinctive features and which are contributing negatively to another feature all of this relationship we are being able to see and from that we can be able to take our decision which feature to consider which feature to discard so that's it that's all in this video if you like this video, please uh, press like and subscribe and also share whoever needs the video. Until then, stay tuned and enjoy machine learning. Okay.